Hello and welcome to the Department of Computer Science at the College of Computer Information Sciences, Princeton University. This short video is about changes made to the computer science program uh, at the CCIS. The Bachelor of Science in Computer Science program offered at Prince Sultan University is composed of 124 credits worth of courses plus 10 hours of co-op training. The total number of hours for a student to complete the program is 134. The program is fully accredited by ABIT Computing Accreditation Commission until 2026. Uh, the CS program is proud to be one of the first programs accredited by the NCAAA back in 2013. The computer science program is one of the most flexible programs at PSU. The program itself consists of university requirements, college requirements, and program requirements. All of these add up to 134 credit hours. The CS program is flexible because it allows students the choice of electives, six computer science electives, two business electives, two free electives, and two physical education course electives. The same applies to the computer science students who are taking the CYS track. In their case, the number of CS electives is two courses. In order to maintain quality in the program and update the program based on local market needs and international accreditation requirements, the Department of Computer Science had made a few changes to the program. The following changes have been made to the CS program. Instead of six CS electives, now there are five CS elective courses. One of the CS elective course has been replaced by a senior project two course, which is CS499. Its prerequisite would be CS498, which is senior project course number one. The next change is instead of two business elective courses now there is only one business elective course this course has been replaced by cs435 distributed systems course this course is now a core required course next and the final change is instead of two pe courses now there's only one pe course which has been replaced by CS498 Senior Project 1 course. Finally, the department has not made any changes in the two free elective courses. The two free elective courses give the students options to opt any course from the university, which is of three hours. So if a student willing to take more business courses, they're free to do to business courses as free elective courses. The first two years in the program have no change. Year three, semester two, has the following changes. So student would be taking CS435 distributed systems in the year three, second semester, replacing the CS elective. The student would be taking CS498, which is senior course, instead of physical education course, again in year three, semester two. Finally, the student would be taking CS499, senior project two, in the final semester before co-op. It is important to note here that the total number of hours remain the same. There is no change in the total number of hours. In addition to these changes, the department has started to offer CS223 computational linear algebra. Previously, all the students were required to take Math 223 linear algebra course with the math department. Starting the next semester, 221, 
the department would be offering the CS version of this course taught from the computing perspective. The purpose of this course is to build the knowledge base for artificial intelligence courses to be taken as electives. In addition to this, the CS435 Distributed Systems course provides a deeper understanding of distributed and parallel systems, which are around us all over the place. We've been using Google and many other of its parallel services so in this course you'll be learning more about these in detail finally the senior project courses give you year-long experience in project development this is now a key requirement for abit computing accreditation commission and also highly desirable in the local market do these changes affect you as a computer science student yes and no if you are a CS student who has taken less than 70 earned hours at the end of semester 212, then you may qualify. If you have not taken linear algebra already, or you have completed two business electives and two free electives, or two PE courses. If you have taken any of these courses in that particular order, then you can move to the new plan. If you have taken more than 70 hours or you have already finished mathematics version of the linear algebra, then you do not qualify to move to the new plan. If you are willing to move to the new plan, then you should have taken at least one business course or less one free elective course or less or one PE course or less. If you think that you satisfy these requirements, you're welcome to join the new CS program. The Department of Computer Science thanks you for your continued support and we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors.